All right, guys. Uh, morning, early. Yes, it's just after four in the morning. We're up. Gonna head down to Peoria Spring Lake. See if we can't catch a giant. Get some toads, hopefully, today. Josh's personal best for a largemouth is where? Is down there at Spring Lake. Well, no, but it's, it's no. that's my second How biggest big? one. How big? Uh, like five. Five. Mine's just over six. We're hoping today today hopefully both of us get our personal best been waiting to go down there it should be good so let's get on the let's road see what happens let's do it <laughs> They get a French toast, sausage, egg, and cheese sandwich. <laughs> I didn't even know you were recording. Frog. Oh, it's lily pad galore. Oh. Oh, did I just find a second sandwich? Oh my god. You got two French toast sandwiches. Well, I picked one up and I walked away. That means someone's gonna have to take another two in about two hours. <laughs> now, for those of you keeping math at home, that's six total. <laughs> well, I didn't know I was fishing with the, the count here. <laughs> two, ha, uh, ha, uh, two. <laughs> yes. Oh, that count was awesome. <laughs> Oh no. I'm trying to get you guys some footage of this cool Illinois River. And my sandwich. It just fell down. You know, I'm still going to eat that though, for sure. Alright guys, we just pulled up. We here. Take a look, take a look at this. Last time we were here, it was uh, early spring. So there wasn't any kind of like vegetation. But today, the vegetation is thick. I'm seeing all kinds of fish moving on the bank as I'm walking up. This is, uh, this is dynamite. Take a look at this. to get the personal best today well let's let's go catch some fish come on would you, would you look at this guy right now i gotta get the boat ready to put in the water we pull up and look at he's over here fishing Are already fishing there goes rick going to his morning uh office meeting <laughs> What's up, Rick? Someone got to take a number two, two. <laughs> oh, I love it. How about this, though? Oh, just saw a fish. That's gotta be a carp back in there. So we get to this lake and um, I'm a f familiar enough with the lake to know a little bit about it, but I've only been here about four or five times. And the whole lake looks good. You know, I'm sure you've had this problem where you pull up and everything looks good. You don't even know where to start. And so we just kind of start working our way down one of the weed edges and, and looking. And here's the field that I think I want we were gonna start working on 
And what makes me want to stop here is it's scattered lily pads and there's deep water on one side and then it gets denser as you go in. So it's scattered enough that I could work it and there's deep water by it. So I think it's gonna be the ticket. So we're gonna spend a little bit of time in this field and see if we can't catch some fish out of it. First one of the day, guys. Woo, he's very green. Oh, I got him through his eyeball. I'm sorry, guy. All right, we're flipping the ball. Josh is throwing the frog and he's had like three blow ups. Um, I don't know what that was. I'm throwing a pit boss on the edge. He hit it, knocked slack in the line. It was awesome. First one of the day though. Hopefully that's a start. We gotta get, we gotta like quadruple that size. We're getting them out of there. Not a giant. Woo. That was way back in there. Not a giant. But they're on hollow belly now. Way back in the lily pads. I didn't even see it blow up. He just, uh, like I saw a roll, and then my line just went, punk. You know, it's just like, oh. But there's definitely some life going on right here. That was, that was a good fish, guys. Not a giant, but good fish. Flipping, weed edge. There's a little runoff here you can probably hear. It's not bad. Little guys. We're going, that's what I'm throwing. We're going for 10 pounders and I've just caught three one pounders. Right there by the runoff. Smoking it hard. Look at the colors on that guy. It's a pretty fish. This is not what I woke up at 10 to 4 in the morning for. I better be getting a, a 7 pounder out of here. Holy shit. Don't lose them, bro. Wow. Wow. We just, I mean, we just had a drought. Probably about an hour since a bite. And, uh, <laughs> I've been flipping. And I picked my frog up in like the third cast. Third cast, I get, I just get smoked. Come on. Biggest one of the day. Still pretty small. Oh man, he got some stuff in his mouth. We're still looking for bigger than that, but got him on the hollow belly frog. I'll, sh I'll show you, uh, yeah, he hit it like, 
You're right. He hit it like a tank. He came out of the water, smoked it. This is what we're fishing right along the shoreline. Uh, just in, in the grass. There's like lily pads. There's a little bit of underwater grass. There's a bank. Some trees and stuff sticking out. It's very, it's very fishy. Very, very, very fishy. That was a good one. That was fun. Dug him. He was right, it was right outside the little guy. Yeah. Little guy on a frog, hollow belly, live target. Get some light on him. We just seem to be getting like uh, little guys right now. Oh, did you stick him? They're popping so hard on them. They're such little guys, though. Josh. Josh. Josh catching fish. He doesn't even appreciate you guys enough to show you. He flipped. He came off and just flipped up. Oh, yeah. It sounds like excuses to me. He... Oh, that one felt like a good one. That one nice felt like one. a good one. Oh, he's out in the open water now. Looks like a nice one. Better. Look at that guy. Whoa, he's meaty. Choked it. Definitely one coming off. Frog throwing on the wind blowing edge. Man, look at the big sore on him. It looks like me. Got a big old sore on him. Looks like looks like uh stepdad was upset with him. Burned him with a cigar because he spilled paint on the floor. You see him hit that? Yeah. Dude, he came at it like like a tank. <laughs> like a tank. Jesus. Look at look. Right. All the way. Oh, all the way in. All the way into his mouth. Oh my god. Just hot. I'm getting, I'm getting heat exhaustion, so I'm getting delirious. It's a nice fish though. Hollow belly frog. Wind blowing uh, pads right now. He came at it so hard it was uh, scary. I swear to God, if, if bass were bigger, they'd be eating humans. Wouldn't be safe to swim anywhere. That was like an episode of Jaws. He waked towards it. And Just made that frog regret being born. Okay. I love you too, baby. Oh, I just got one. Oh, you gotta be on the phone with me for this one. <laughs> oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. You don't have you don't have any SIM card left. Choked it. I love you, Kathy. I'm on the phone with my wife. Just had to tell her I love her because I do. But it always seems like when she calls me, I get a bite. So she says, sorry to be a bother. You're not a bother. You just bring me luck. I love you, sweetie. I love you too, honey. Have a good day. Bye. Not a bad guy. I think we figured a little something, some, some, some out. You like, you like my son when he doesn't want to stop playing, but he knows he's got to pee. No, no, no. I just keep going. Oh my God! 
Dude, he better come out of there. It's a big one. Why did I swing that thing? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that thing just hit the water and got smashed. Dude, that's it. I love it. That's why we came here. That's every bit of a four pounder. Throwing it in this crap. As soon as it hit the water, he just was on it. I love it, man. That's good fish. Guys, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit the subscribe button. We're having fun with these fish all the time. Bro. Dude, that, as soon as that hit the water, I got Dude, choked. Dude, on it. Did you hear the line go? Ding, 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 ding. Work this edge all the way down and kind of past that pointing. There it is. Dude, look how skinny they are. On out. Mm -hmm. Hollow belly. They're crushing it. They're just crushing it. All we're doing is fishing this wind blown uh, side of the lily pads. And I think they're just setting up to ambush. It's pretty much what we're doing. They're crushing it though. Yeah. That was good. Sorry. There we go. Changed it over. Changed it over to brown. Same thing, live target. Biggest one of the day for me. Ah. <laughs> Sweet. Nice fish. I like a. I like nice a. Nice one came back, hit it the second time. He hits it, he rolls on he rolled it. Rolled on it. And Josh whispers, oh my God, here we go. And then just like clockwork, he smokes it again. Smokes it. Did you get him? It's <laughs> another good one. Uh huh. Giant, but it's not a little. Just catching two pounder. Yeah, he blew up on something else. He was feeding on something else. Yeah, nice little know. pig. They aggressive. Just about to say, you think you want to move? <laughs> oh, boom, baby! Another nice one. Look it up! I heard it. Josh, did your girlfriend know you're hooking up so much while she's gone? <laughs> Pressure. Little guy. Just waiting for that big old hog to hit it. The big old slump. Oh, 
Oh, shit. G -g 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 giant bass. And now it's like this ongoing joke. Pretty basic. It's lily pads. It's a hollow belly pad crasher from uh, Booyah. And all I'm doing is throwing it in there and kind of working it a little bit quick. And then when it gets the pockets where it's open water, I just pause it, give it a little twitch, and then I work quick. Uh, I don't. I mean, there's not much to it. Maybe. Maybe some things is uh, don't throw it at super dense cover because the bass have a hard time getting it through the lily pads. So you want to look for kind of spattered lily pads. Don't work it too crazy fast. And uh, just be patient when you get a hit because they're going to miss it a lot. We ain't going nowhere. They're still biting. Oh, God, Lee. Did you see how big that thing is? <laughs> I thought it was way bigger, dude. Oh, I'm burning myself. Holy smoke. <laughs> a quick wrap up on the way home uh, fish spring lake peoria we we're there for like eight or ten hours real hot outside first couple hours the first couple hours are pretty tough yeah we it, it took us a few hours to figure them out we, it seems like we wasted a lot of time fishing some dead water but uh we did eventually figure them out and it was an aggressive bite Holy smokes, was it aggressive. So much fun, so aggressive. Uh, we, we, we blown uh, lily pads. Yeah, oh yeah, wind wind blowing on the lily pads was, was the ticket. Everywhere we went, we looked for that. But we did find a specific area that seemed better than most, and we just kept going back, and that spot kept reloading. And they weren't giants, no, nobody caught their personal best, but we did catch respectable bass, in a way that we enjoy catching them. So you can't really complain. That's just about the best way to do it. But uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share, guys.